Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you how to self-activate a weather radio. Now, you need to find the radio that's suitable for you to activate. So, um, mine is the WR120. Normally people think it's stubborn. I thought it was stubborn at first, but then after I finally got the right device and the right cord, it finally worked. Um, and it works better than this guy, because it, um, this guy has loose connections. But I'm going to try my Alertworks ZAR10. So... What you'll need here is you'll need a um, iPod 4G or lower um, generation. Um, so this is a iPod 2G um, that I have. It's from my brother, and that was handed down from my grandma to my brother. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're going. Um, so first, before we plug everything in, um, by the way, this is completely legal since this is a closed circuit. So there's no need to worry about the FCC getting mad. It's completely legal. Just not broadcast. So we're going to go to the menu, and you're going to go to channel, and you're going to set your channel to 2. Then go to the same set, and set it to any. I normally have this set to any, but I just um, set that to any for any single for demonstration purposes. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take our um, red one, make sure it's the red and white one. And we're going to plug in the red to the external antenna, and then the white to the external alert port. And um, if that doesn't work, go and try it the other way around, because that's how I find people doing it. But um, Then we're going to unlock our iPod, and you're going to need to find valid EAS tones on YouTube. Um, I can't get YouTube to work, so I got this website here, and we're going to play them through. There, that's perfect. Oh yeah, that's right, this EOM problem. This... Yeah, I have to pause the RWT tones because they... EOM comes early, so, um, I'm going to ro rotate the radio, I'm going to put you guys up like that, and try to get this to work. Okay, um, here, let me try a different tone. Um, I'm gonna try twenty of the one in here. So let's come on. Come on. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and try. Try and make it so they're not all scratchy.
Okay, I can't get the EAR10 to work right the second, so I'm going to go ahead and plug in my WR120 for you guys, and we're going to go ahead and activate that one. So, same process here. This one has better connections, so it's easier to activate. So, let's see here, got 21 things. With the EON detection too with the WR120. So let me go ahead and grab this guy's faceplate because I got that for this one. I swear I just stole the faceplate. Here I'll just activate my other one. Keep in mind that once you unplug the weather radio, it will not remember the alert and it will go away. This applies for real alerts too, so if it does ever go off and it's real, um, keep in mind that if you unplug it, it will go away. So, um, all right, I think this one is still set to my normal settings, so let me, into the Ohio let me go ahead and change that. It's already on any. We're gonna go ahead and plug our cords in. And I'm um, gonna play the tone. Here it goes. Oh. Come on. Making weird, really weird sounds. Let's go and try reversing the chords, see if that works better. Let's see. redo that and do the EOM detection thing yay yes 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 then EOM detection EOM detection see how it turned off let's go and do that one more time it's just fun Here we go. Here you can't play it when the tone's still going. If you were to use a, um, a, um, an open air headphone jack plugged into the cloning port, yeah, you get the idea. It doesn't work unless you're on your local channel. Plus, watch when it.
much what it does. It's cloudy. Highs around 60. Um, Here are the 5 p.m. The weather conditions at the John Glenn Columbus iPod International Airport under partly sunny skies. The temperature was 48 yeah. degrees you know. and the relative humidity 82%. The wind northwest at 10 miles an hour. The barometric pressure. Selected. So if I really wanted to, I could make a channel 2 cycle with this. Here, let's activate it for a different alert. Do an RNT. Man, I've never seen that. They don't do this in my local area, so that's why. Man, I activated this thing eight times. Let's do it again, because it's fun. RMT again. So yeah. Alright, that's how to self-activate your weather radio. That's it.